and then this one needs a, a fair bit of introduction. This is the facial nerve. Okay, we talked about this a little bit earlier. Facial nerve. So facial nerve leaves the area around the pons, and then it makes its way through the internal acoustic meatus. So here is my internal acoustic meatus. So as it goes in there, it goes in horizontally. Do you see that angle horizontally? But when he comes out, it comes out, if I turn this onto the inferior aspect, through this foramen, which is between the styloid process and the mastoid process. This is my stylomastoid foramen. Stylomastoid foramen. As he comes out, he comes out, he comes out vertically. Vertically through the stylomastoid foramen. Okay? Now this is the nerve which goes in and has a little bit of a changeover as it's going through this zone. So what zone is it going through? Let's have a look. It's going to go through this rather thick, hardened bone, which is solid, solid as a rock. Squamous part of temporal bone, petrous part of temporal bone, petrous meaning rock. So as it goes through there, it has a bit of a makeover. So it goes in through the petrous temporal bone, and whilst it's in there, it has some vital parts stripped off it. The first nerve to be stripped off it is your greater petrosal nerve. Your greater petrosal nerve is going to come away from there. It's going to head down. I just use the wire. It's going to head out. from about here, I'll just turn this so you can see, from here, and it's going to extend forwards to frame a lacerum. Remember nothing goes through lacerum, so it's going to go through the bone anterior to lacerum, and as it goes through there, it's going to go through what's called the pterygoid canal, pterygoid canal which is going to allow it to enter this space here. Okay. This space here is my pterygopalatine fossa. Pterygopalatine fossa. So that was the greater petrosal nerve. Remember, 7 gives off the greater petrosal nerve, which is going to end there, and in there it's going to find the ganglion. Let's look at the next one. The next nerve, which is going to be coming off 7, is going to be corda tympani. Corda tympani, let's think about the word cord, tympani. Tympani means drum, cord means a cord going across the drum. The drum we're referring to in this rock is where we keep the apparatus for hearing, the ear, okay? The ear inside the rock. So we've got the eardrum. So if one was to look through the external acoustic meatus with an otoscope, what you'd see is you'd see a nice clear eardrum, hopefully, and on the other side, you'd see one of the branches of facial nerve screaming its way across the eardrum, like a cord. That is corda, and because it's going across the drum, tympani. Corda, tympani. And as that cord goes across the drum, it then emerges out through comes out through the um, middle ear and emerges in the infratemporal fossa around this area of the squamotympanic fissure. Okay. Squamotympanic fissure and it's going to emerge out here and drop down into this area which again is that infratemporal fossa and in the infratemporal fossa it's going to hitchhike onto the lingual nerve to head to the tongue because corda tympani is sensory, special sensation for taste to the anterior two thirds of the tongue, and that's its root. So it's going to come down there, hitchhiker lift, high lingual nerve, you head into the tongue. Oh, yes, I'm heading to the tongue. Can I get a lift? Yeah, sure, hop on. So it hops on, and off they go together to the tongue. The last nerve, which is the final thing that gets stripped off facial while it's inside here is 
nerve to stapedius, stapedius. So stapedius is one of the muscles of the inside of the um, ear, the ossicles, and um, it's the smallest muscle in the whole human body, and there's a special nerve to it, it's nerve to stapedius, and that comes off the facial nerve. So that all happens in there, in an area we can't see. What then happens is the facial nerve comes out of the stylomastoid foramen, absolutely raging, having had three bits of it ripped off and mugged effectively as it went through this bend. And um, it comes out raging, ready and powerful to take on the muscles of facial expression. The muscles of facial expression. The last thing I wanted to mention about the facial nerve is, as I said, it comes in horizontally and it leaves here vertically. It means it goes through a 90 degree bend while it's in there. 90 degree bend. And that 90 degree bend we, in anatomy we call a genus, a knee. And through there there's a ganglion for the facial nerve. And that is the geniculate ganglion as a result through that 90 degree bend. Right, if we go back to the diagram, what we'll see is when the facial nerve emerges... So there's my geniculate ganglion there where it does this 90 degree bend and it drops down and then if here is called a tympany coming across hitchhiking onto lingual nerve and being carried along the fibers of lingual nerve to head to the submandibular ganglion and then on back onto the lingual nerve as a postganglionic to head to the tongue and provides taste to the anterior two thirds. Okay, um, on this one, you've got the greater petrosal, which has gone along to the pterygopalatine ganglion, and then it's going to come off, and it's going to provide parasympathetic fibres to one, the lacrimal gland, and some of the mucous glands of the nose, which we'll talk about later in the, in the mouth. And then the third one is muscles of facial expression. So as it comes out, stylomastoid foramen, it pops out here, just in front of the ear, but remember in front of the ear... I get this model now. So it comes out from stylomastoid foramen, which is just behind this big juicy muscle here, which we referred to before, sternocleidomastoid. It comes out about there. And as it comes out, it stabs. Oh! Right into the back of the protic gland. And the protic gland goes, oh! What was that? And as it pokes through there, it gets split in the middle of the protic gland. So it pokes right, stabs right back into the middle of the protic gland. Oof! <laughs> and splits. Splits into five different regions. Okay? And the way I summarise it is a nice little mnemonic, which is to Zanzibar by motorcar. So let's begin. So here's the first branch, two. That's temporal, it's your temporal region here. Okay. Zanzibar. So this, this is my temporal region here, here. Temporal. Can we just see that nerve here? There we are, temporal. Temporal region there. Two. Zanzibar, zygomatic. Here we go. It's my zygomatic region here. Okay. By buckle. Here's my buckle region here. Motor. Mandibular. Here's my mandibular region here. Car. Cervical. That's cervical here, and that's going towards platysma. Platysma. Okay? And then, probably, there is another branch that, as it's transversing across this gap here, you see this gap here? There's a branch that whips round and goes off as posterior auricular. Posterior auricular. You don't actually see it on this model. There is a posterior auricular branch, and that's your probably. So just to recap again, two, temporal, 
Zanzibar, zygomatic, by, buckle, motor, mandibular, car, cervical, probably, posterior auricular. Okay. 